And you know, I've looked everywhere for the serial numbers on this Briggs engine. Now, John Deere doesn't make it easy on you. They tell you to go back here and look back up in there behind the rear deck by the left for supposedly the model number and all that stuff. But that doesn't translate to anything. This is a Briggs engine. You need the specific Briggs numbers. So, I originally thought the numbers might be on the fan shroud somewhere and that's what those look like right there but these numbers they don't translate to anything either so man I looked everywhere I finally found a site on the web that had it and tells you to look on this particular engine this is a 30 cc or 30 cubic inch I should say OHV Briggs and the actual number is located right here and you can barely even see it on this engine because it's so rusted out but if you pull those numbers that's how you start figuring out part numbers or at least you need those numbers to be able to order any parts and I suspect there's bigger things going on because last I told you I thought it was this fuel pump, but I just went ahead and loaded the carb up with gas and the inside of the cylinder definitely has gas in there and I'm still not getting any kind of spark or ignition. I should be getting something. So we need to keep looking on this thing, but at least I've got the model numbers now. So last time I was telling you about how to get these model numbers off here so you know what the engine model number is for Briggs and I still can't see. So with all this rust so if you remember when you were a kid you used to do those pencil rubbings here's a quick trick you just put this put a piece of paper on there and get you a pencil and just go and start rubbing it and you'll rub the numbers right out and you'll come up with something that looks something like this so another you know, thing you can do is get you a flashlight and hold the flashlight up real close and uh, double check your work and hold the flashlight on these numbers and try to get from an angle and I've gone ahead and done that and double checked it. It takes a couple times but I've double checked it and my model numbers came out right here and it matches completely. So now I know what I'm dealing with as far as a Briggs engine and now I can go and figure out what my parts costs are going to be on this thing.